Hallelujah. Okay, so you see that God wants to speak to people, yeah? God wants to speak to man. God wants to speak to me. Say, God wants to speak to me. So another truth is that dreams don't only come from God. Hallelujah. At least that's his 5 verse 3. When pastor was preaching the last time about guidance by dream, he made reference to this scripture and he dealt extensively with it. You should go and watch it. Amen. For a dream, read with me once ready to go. For a dream. Wait. Are you with me? Read once ready to go. Please look up. Be attentive. Uh -huh. How does a dream come? Another thing is that not all dreams are important. But learn it now so you don't kill yourself. Dream comes through the multitude of business. You are just there doing, 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 doing a lot of things. You dream. You are, for example, you are playing game. You were fighting Mortal Kombat. <laughs> You slept. Boom. In the dream. <laughs> this is my friend in Nigeria. That guy very funny. Let me tell you. The guy. Ah, it's a strange dream. Come to me. Man of God. He said he saw himself. With one terminator guy. <laughs> oh. He loves animation a lot. So he feeds his mind with animation. Bombard his spirit. Nothing there. If the voice of God is coming, he has to pass through animation to get to him. God can speak it. He has something. I forgot. He likes this cartoon stuff and draws. Big, all those things with machine. What was, what was the name again? Terminator or something? With car. You turn into something else. Yeah? Oh, thank you. Sorry. I didn't watch it. He was with Transformer. <laughs> <laughs> and he was fighting Transformer. In, in those days, we were little, so if he's explaining the dream, it's very funny. I will go home and laugh. I won't laugh in front of him. I will laugh. <laughs> he was beating Transformer. I said, yeah, you beat Transformer. <laughs> so one day, we, there was a girl that was, we were we conducting something like prayer and deliver. And so I saw him praying for the person. I say, sir, sir, sir. The spirit of prophet that subject to. <laughs> you see, you see how Pastor was teaching last week about the necessities of visions. You remember? Hallelujah. How many of us were here? So you remember that he was talking about your mind. He went to Romans 12, verse 1, he spoke about your body, he spoke about your mind. That your mind can play a role and obstruct you. You will sleep and see something. You see, because when you sleep, it's, it's you. There is another realm you are. It's not a place where you cross over, but it's, 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 it's a world between where you are physically and the other world, the spiritual world. That's what I'm trying to say. And because you have watched it, you, you have been busy the whole day. Cooking, cooking, cooking. You just have a dream. In my dream, you say, okay, what happens, sir? You are cooking. Then what happened? You enter the toilet. That's all I can remember. <laughs> the next day you enter, when you wake up, you don't even pray, you go. You enter, you cook. Next thing you enter the toilet, you go. You even forget about the dream. As little as it is, is God trying to just play your day for you? Dreams, it, it comes by the multitude of business. Busy people usually have dreams. That is why when you are going to the, the one of the atoms of greatness is your dream. How big your dream is. Many of them are busy. They are doing a lot of things. And in the busyness of their, or in the multitude of their business, they dream something. They imagine something. Something comes to them in their sleep. Albert Einstein, the father of many things, was sleeping. What was he wanted to? He's a, he's a man of many meditations. And he sat one day with two balls. He didn't want to sleep. So he held it in his hands. And he understood that if he's going to get tired and that, that, that's the realm of trance, but I'm trying to explain something to you. How men, because of their multitude of business, come in contact with many realms, many things. So, 
and, and at the point where the ball will leave his hand and he will come to consciousness, he will see something in a flash. So I'm trying to say something to you that when you are busy, it's possible for you to have many dreams. You can have 10 dreams, 5 dreams. You slept. You, you have, how many of us have had multiple of dreams? In one sleep. In one sleep. Amen. So you can have multiple of dreams in the sleep. Please follow me. It's very key for our Christian life. I am wondering. Amen. Amen. Multiple of businesses. Because uh, 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 another way dream can come is from multiple of thoughts. Thoughts are very powerful. When someone is thinking something, it's like wave. Amen. You cannot see the wave around, but it's, it's here. Amen. You know? So that's how someone thinking something about you. You can come in contact with a person and... The thought of the person is as if it's an atmosphere. And what someone is thinking, let's say, for example, your neighbor has a problem trying to solve a school fees issue in their mind. Thinking it so much, it's now in the atmosphere. You sleep and you see this person with a problem of school fees. Are you understanding me? It's a thought that has, it's like a wave. So because you are close by and your spirit is sensitive, you Connect. It's like a frequency stuff. Amen. Um, wait, let's go to something else. Let's go to something else. Amen. Let me don't keep us here. Praise God. From um, another way dreams come is from your thoughts. Amen. It's just your thoughts. Amen. Just a thought. Daniel 2, verse 29. Just your thought. Prove it to us. Just your thought. Amen. Daniel met the king, and the first thing, and when he was speaking to the king, verse 28, let's go to 28, so we'll just follow up, amen. The Bible says, but there is a, okay, let me just read the last part. It says, your dream and the visions of the head upon the bed are these, amen, then 29. It says, as for thee, O king, your thought came into your mind upon your bed, which will come to pass hereafter. So the man of, the, the, the king was thinking, what is going to happen to me? What is going to happen in the future? He was thinking, 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 thinking. He thinking. He was trying to, you know, crack his head. The Bible says while he was sleeping, his thoughts came into his mind. The thing he was thinking came into his mind. Are you with me? You don't think when you are sleeping. Am I correct? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. So he thought that he was thinking while he was awake. Came into his mind while he was on his bed. What should, now describing the thought, the Bible says, Thereafter, he that reveals secrets, make it known to thee what shall come to pass. So what he was thinking, God saw and said, I, I want to reveal. So while you are thinking about what will my future be like, what will my future be like, one way to, in, listen, you can induce dreams. You can induce a dream. Like, like, like you are thinking of somebody and you have a dream about the person. You're thinking of a girl and you have a dream of with a girl. Mm. And in your thoughts, you have finished the girl. There's nothing remaining again. If, they, if God opens your thought, uh, no clothes. Amen. <laughs> then you sleep. That was what you were thinking before you slept. Oh. The thoughts has come into your mind while you were on your bed. So while you are sleeping, what you thought, you finished her physically in your mind. So you went to bed. Fell asleep. Boom. The thing now manifests in a dream. You wake up. Ah, I'm having sex in my dream. Lekoto. Lekoto. <laughs> What were you thinking before? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Your thoughts have come into your mind while you were sleeping. So while you are thinking, 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 hey, what's happening to mommy? What's what's happening? Sometimes, listen, you dream of your family, yeah? But before then, you were actually thinking about them during the day. We call you, call. her mommy has not picked my call. I don't know what happened. Her mommy has not picked my call. Bim, you sleep. 
Your thoughts of your mind come into you. Then drama happens inside. You're wondering. But listen to me. Like I said, you can induce a dream. You can start thinking, thinking, thinking of your prosperity. Thinking, 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 thinking. The Bible says God saw. Ah, God saw. The Bible says, and he that reveals secrets, make it known to you what shall come to pass. He was thinking it. God says, okay, I want to reveal to him what will come to pass. So he induced a dream. Do you know what is in, in, to induce something? Uh, maybe if you don't know, check dictionary. But to induce, when you, when you purposely want something, he was thinking, thinking, thinking on it. That is why it's so powerful because this is the same way revelation comes. From the word of God. Are you following me? Is it deep? No. I, I believe. Amen. Don't sleep on me, please. So while you are thinking on something, thinking on money, thinking on money, thinking on billion, you are not thinking on thousand. You say, leave thousand for my friend. You wake up, you are thinking. Billion, billion, billion. How this company? All your mind is money, 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 money. You sleep, boom, one day. Saw yourself counting money. Because he will reveal secrets in the dream of your, in the visions of your night. So you have to be, what am I trying to say? You have to be careful what you think. Tell your neighbor, be careful. Yeah. Touch somebody, say, be careful yeah. what you are thinking about me. Hmm. Be careful what you're thinking about me. See, I'm thinking, it's like God will just jam this boy, jam him, jam him, die. You sleep, bam, you see me, I'm, I'm dead. You, you are the one that is dead. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Hey. Somebody's thinking evil, thinking evil. Person will shake you. Person's mind. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's just, it's just like a physical. <laughs> Any person comes one day and say, uh, I saw you were crossing the road, moto hit you, bam. You were there. You have a pro I have a problem with you. <laughs> yeah, and you are my prime suspect. <laughs> you were standing there and moto hit me. You didn't call me back. Come. <laughs> you know, we pray together and fast together. <laughs> you that saw the dream, go back. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Yes, so dreams are just the result of your thoughts. Isaiah 29 verse 8. I want to show you something. Now as a result of your thoughts, you can, like I say, there are truths about dreams. Um, but just focusing on the revelational part, no interpretation. I'm just trying to do justice. Amen. So all dreams, dreams mean different things. That's another one. Dreams mean different things. Say dreams can mean different things. Yes. Usually if you go to our father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. Iria, to you know, tell him about the dreams, and even the time when he was alive and he was trying to interpret dreams by the help of God, uh, you, could, you could know and sense that dreams mean different things. One person will dream and see if he's holding me. We're walking. In your dream, you didn't see down the eye. But you were walking. Maybe going for evangelism. <laughs> so you were walking. Remember, thoughts. Are you with me? So you are walking. You see, when you wake up, you don't even care what happened. Somebody asked him, so what happened now? So we were walking. I forgot, I forgot, but we were walking. Now maybe you like her. That comes now a problem, your thought. So he plays in, and God wants to reveal a secret. But now, the flesh has a problem. Hey, hey, God help me. So I don't rush up. But, because between the time when you wake up, that's few minutes, your spirit is still active. That time I teach you that. You don't know who you are seeing. When somebody wakes you, you say, did you come to my room? That time, your spirit is active. Is a proof because when your flesh is active, you know. She stop, oh, drop that thing. Even when you said it, your flesh was still not active. 
When you wake up sometimes, somebody says, I came, you even spoke to me, say, me spoke to you, I have lies speak to you. That point, you were not awake. You don't understand. So that is the time where your spirit trans transfers information to your flesh. At that point, is hey, I don't want to go, please, at that point, yeah? Please, just stay with me, keep it. We're going to come back to it, amen. Let me, let me explain this. So, 29 verse 8, Azar, the Bible says, let's read together, one, two, ready, go. Isha, Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Leave that part. Leave that part. Amen. It shall be that when somebody is hungry. You see, say, have you slept? What happened? I saw myself eating drink. <sighs> what were you eating first? The question is, what were you eating? Because I can be eating sausage. What were you eating? Eat quality food if you are going to eat food. <laughs> eat quality. Tell your neighbor, eat quality. Mm. I don't understand. Put that seed you are What do you do? Sometimes it's sweet. It's too cheap to possess you. Eat quality. I mean, eat, 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 eat something. Maybe McDonald's, it even wear better food. You didn't drink water, so you woke up. So God is having two sections of people. There are people that they are not thirsty. They slept. They were hungry. When Pastor taught us, or taught I was I was here, when he was teaching us this same thing about dreams, he was demystifying the subject. Of course, I'm not making a doctrine out of this, but I'm trying to show you there is a higher life. Say there is a higher life. That you slept. Let's let's stick to the word of God. Say stick to the word of God. There yeah, are people that create imaginations and fears and sayings from their thoughts. Something is chasing you, you think it should be evil. Amen. But that the ways of God are higher than the ways of men. So don't you, you don't turn it into a doctor. You have to prove by the word of God. Now the word of God is talking about the man who is hungry. You wanted to eat and then you slept up. Then, while he was thinking of food, remember I thought, he dreamed. Bam. Behold, he said the dream is eating. The Bible says he wakes. Show me where he says there's something that possesses him. He says his soul is empty. Let, let him explain it again. He says, now when the man is thirsty and he dreams. So this time now you ate, 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 water was too far. He said, let you just watch small thing. You knocked out. You were thirsty. You entered your dream. God served you. Mm. But now there is a problem here because if you depend on the food in the dream, you will, the Bible says that he that waketh and behold, he is faint. So there will be a problem when you wake up because you'll be dying. You'll be slimming down. Say, so don't worry, I'll go inside the spirit. When you come out, you, you, very soon you'll not have flesh. <laughs> so the problem of, so please eat, oh. Don't say, Pastor Emmanuel, say, I should not. Eat, you see, you will faint when you, your soul will be empty. You'll be very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your stomach, you know, you will see food in the dream when you wake up. The word of God. Again, when Pastor wanted to prove it to us, he said, how many of us urinated when we were small? I have a problem now, sorry. Big boys and big girls, amen. <laughs> uh, I will call your sister and your mother. <laughs> I don't know how when many of us stopped. Some of us, they had to put pepper that place, <laughs> put bitter leaf. <laughs> Wake us in the middle of the night by 12, so yeah, go. It's like your parents know when it happens. Once it's 12, before they sleep, or oh, your son, mommy, I'm not finished, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you urinate before you sleep, oh. <laughs> Ask her, did you, did you urinate? Says she's not finished, I'm not, I don't want to put. They know. 
Because many of us, it happened to me. Many of us, amen. When you now start feeling pressed inside the sleep, you don't know how toilets come in front. Bam! It's like the Lord prepared the toilet before me. <laughs> While you are peeing in the, in the spiritual, you start feeling it. For some of us that are like fever. So what is the next day? And I thought, ah, ah, I actually pee. Oh. <laughs> Inside your dream, you saw yourself peeing seriously. Pee! You will you finish last time. Maybe there's extra. Then you woke up physically, you peed. So the, your parents know that this is they are the thoughts of your but it's so stressful. See toilet, there, see room here. So don't worry, I'll wake up in the night. They know. <laughs> so what you are what you are seeing, you, you say, I, I, you, what did you eat? Ha. Have you read Psalm 23 before? We are a Bible student. Have you read Psalm 23 before? Who prepared a table? Stay with scripture. The Bible says, when the prophet was hungry, God gave him cake. Stay with scriptures. Stay with scriptures. God gave him cake. Say, eat cake, eat cake, eat cake, eat cake, eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Bite cake, small, bite cake, small. So, 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 why? The Bible says God prepared a table. Hi, hi. Listen, if God is giving you a plate, there's a problem. <laughs> it's, it's, it's deep for, for some people. God doesn't give plate, he gives table. Table, table. Ah, you know when there is table, it's full meal. If you have gone for, for a ceremony before you, you will know. It's not plate. Plate is one meal. So inside your dream, if you are, you, you it's, you is ponder the arm. This, this, this. Ah. And they are like, I saw myself eating gizzard. <laughs> I don't think I'm eating gizzard like that. <laughs> so the prophet is, is, is tired. He has run. And he was hungry, of course. God came. He said, take, take food. Eat. This thing will sustain you for 40 days. He would have been like Peter that God told him, Acts chapter 10, verse 10, eat and kill, kill and eat. He said, God, no. I cannot eat. God, he said, ah. man, perceive it not. Kill and eat. I'm the one that made, how can you call what? God, you're not arguing with God in your dream. If you find food, eat it. Please, 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 don't leave it to. <laughs> if you see me in your dream, just call and say, Manu. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So, so we see here that dreams, eh? So let's rush. Dreams can be plain, can be dramatic. Of course, we've spoken about it. You can see stuff, you can see pictures. The Bible speaks of Joseph, the father of Jesus, that um, had a plain dream. God came and told him straight up, this is what you should do. This is what will happen. This is what will happen. And he took the child Jesus and ran out to Egypt. Sometime in Daniel, God told him, there are three days, these days, animals everywhere, beasts. And he needed interpretation. So dreams need interpretation. Say with me, dreams need interpretations. Now, lastly, as I conclude, what happens when you sleep? And what to do with your dream when you have the right dream? Amen. So understand that sometimes you can have a dream and it doesn't mean anything. If you have a dream, listen to me. Are you with me? Look up. If you have a dream and it's not consistent with the word of God, throw it away. If it's not consistent with what God is saying about your life, throw it away. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with you. So it's, it's, it's about what God is saying to me from his word. So somebody can dream something and say, I don't know, I don't know. Some, I don't know. Listen, many people, many people have an issue. You dream, you see death. You dream, you see death. You dream, you see death. Accident, trauma. Sometimes you have a problem with 
you know, their state of mind. So Job 33 verse 15, let's conclude with that. Amen. And Daniel 7 verse 1. Amen. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, I want to see something. Job 33 verse 15. Where we started from. Now, for you to dream, first of all, you have to sleep. Amen, right? We, we, we clarified that. So, you have to take notes. If God is going to come to you, of course, listen, dreams are not the only way God speaks to people. Yeah, but it's surely one of the ways of revelation. So, you have to understand that God is going to be giving you dreams like water. When you begin to take your dream serious, you become a dreamer, naturally. It's your seriousness of how you take your dreams that, that will make God bring more information. If, if you don't care, you just wake up, you saw yourself, you don't care. You don't do anything with it. You do. All the dreams you are throwing away. Even God, when God brings very important ones in your life, you don't know. So the way to become a constant dreamer is to consistently recognize your dreams. See, even if it's a rubbish dream, you write it down. I'm coming to the last thing. Uh, dreams happen when a man falls asleep. So you have to sleep first for you to see something. I mean, in that realm. So when you are going to sleep, don't just go and snore. Go with the intention to see something. Tell somebody, go with the intention to see something. So you are thinking of something. Lord, my future. Lord, my future. Go with the intention to see something. Because it will make known the secret while you are asleep of your thoughts. Amen. So the next one I want us to see is, why do people forget their dreams? Quickly. Amen. Why people forget? How many of us remember dreams? How many of us forget our dream? Sometimes. So it's 50-50. Hallelujah. You remember some, you forget some. Amen. Now there's a problem here because, let me just clarify this and then we'll be done. Um, amen. Please just lend me some time. Amen. You have to, um, yes, I say you should go there. Thank you so much. Why do people forget their dreams? It's not as see if you don't dream. The Bible says God speaks. God speaks. We saw it. God speaks in the, in the night. God speaks, but man doesn't perceive. So there is a problem with your perception. Now, what is happening here? Daniel had a dream. When Daniel had a dream, the Bible says that the dream and the vision of his head upon the bed, what Daniel did when he woke up is that he wrote the dream down. Tell your neighbor, write the dream. There is a problem if you don't write your dream. I'm going to tell you something quickly. When your spirit, remember I was explaining something, when your spirit is handing over to your flesh the informations of the night, the problem with the flesh is that it doesn't have the capacity to hold all the dreams. So you can have five dreams or three dreams and remember only the last one. Because when you, at the point where you woke up and opened your eyes, that was the last dream, but you knew you had other dreams involved. So sometimes during the day, when your spirit gets sensitive, it can capture some of the events that happen. And while you are speaking to somebody, you say, ah, I had a dream about you yesterday. Has it happened to you? I had a dream about you yesterday. Ah, I've forgotten what it is. So God will want to remind you that you actually had the dream, but the problem is that you did not perceive it. The, 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 the flesh was not able to capture a lot of information. So what do I do? It's important that when you sleep, you are not a strong sleeper. It's important that you try and wake up between nine and document your dreams in phases. So when you dream and you wake up, you don't just go and ease yourself and come and sleep. You, you, you saw something, but you say, ah, it's not going to let me continue. That's one you saw. You will not remember it when you wake up. I mean, you're full waking up. Because the, the flesh will not be able to capture everything in, in, in its own dimension. It may not happen at the first goal. It may not happen at the second goal. But it's a practice. So you take your dream serious and you wake up in between. It's not going to change your sleeping pattern. You're going to even move from phase one of the dream to another phase. It's as if you finish one, you document one. God shows you another thing, you document it. God shows you the third one, you document it. But if you're going to wake up and, and download the whole of the thing, six hours sleep. Your mind, your brain, I mean, doesn't have the capacity. So what you do is that you document in phases what God is saying. The next thing is that when you document it, you review your dreams. 
Don't just write dreams for writing's sake. It will not make sense to you. You're holding two baskets. One fell down. The next thing you appeared at a ball. You wrote it down and left it. You said this thing, God, only you knows it. What you're supposed to do is to seek interpretation of that dream. God can be speaking to you about your next week, your next day, just when you wake up. Who is about to come into your room? Because we see that God always speaks to his people. You see that very when you get to class, as you're standing in the place, for example, this person comes. Ah, I've seen this thing. Another person is passing. Ah, it's as if you are knowing what is happening, the connection. It's just because you didn't write it down. God would have laid the interpretation in your heart by prayer. Hallelujah. So today we are just doing revelation. Rise up to your feet. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah.